morning guys. Hi there. <laughs> um, so it's Sunday today and we are starting our day doing a bit of shopping. Um, nothing too exciting. Justina needs to try and get her phone unlocked and I need to try and find some t-shirts because I've got nothing. I've got no clothes to wear. So we're just gonna find a H&M or something but we're currently, let's walk this way. In a um, shopping centre. Yeah, we're currently in a shopping centre and um, I believe we're part of the underground city here which is like 33 kilometres of underground shopping area. Um, so it's one of the largest places in the world for that. Oh, we're going up. Uh, so we're just walking around. <laughs> it's like a, a bit like a labyrinth at the moment, but yeah, 33 kilometres, can you imagine? All underground and the reason for that is so that people can escape the cold. Um, so it's great for Montreal, although it's actually five degrees today, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually really nice and warm. Like yeah. all the snow is melting already. So fingers crossed, it's not gonna snow again. But yeah. we'll see. Yeah, because um, next week we looked at the forecast and it's all in the pluses. Yeah. Whereas last so, week it was all minus. All minus. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk around now. But oh yeah, I wanted to mention something. Also, last night. That festival was really cool and Montreal has about, I don't know, 100 festivals a year. Each weekend there's something going on. Yeah, look at this guys. Before it used to be like about 50 centimeters of snow, all white, and now it's just dirt. And this is the main area, this is downtown. And there's H&M, H&M's over there. So this that's is where we need to go. <laughs> That's adorable, isn't it? Yeah, on the little penguin. Oh, oh that's so cute. And that one in the red. Yeah, filming him. Oh, oh, the sky, the sky, in the grey hoodie. Look at this guy in the middle. It's like 80. Look at him. He's better than all of the youngsters. Look. We're still mission around Montreal. We're actually here in downtown. We probably think that is a underground city, but we're not sure. It's quite confusing. But we're now looking for someone to potentially unlock my phone. I've got iPhone 5S, I think, mm. or to buy a really cheap one that is unlocked so I can finally buy a Canadian SIM card and, for example, Core or Tex um, and maybe have some data. So I think it's quite important that you unlock your phone before coming to Canada if you consider doing that because if you don't have a locked phone, you'll have struggles like me. So like we've been looking for phone shops for like an hour now, but, but I think we found some, some good ones. We're just about to go in there. UK, O2 phone, 5S. Crazy. Yeah, 150. Okay, so... Too much, not worth it for that. Okay, and then no. the question, what's the cheapest phone you have Which? that is unlocked? Okay, you're gonna put O2 card in it? No. No, I wanna buy a SIM card here from Canada, so... How long are you staying here? A year. But for now, I only need a cheap one because I'll be moving to Vancouver, so it's just a temporary option here. Okay. What would you what, have? You need a smartphone? Just a call and text at the moment. Yeah. Even that one. This one would be fine. This one is $75. Oh, wow. It's still quite expensive. It is, isn't, isn't it? Reactions. It's not good, is it? No, the cheapest phone they do is like $75 and that's like a flip screen one plus you have to buy a SIM card which is another like $30 and that's over 100 altogether. It's just not worth it. And it's then to unlock $150? Yeah, yeah, to unlock is $150. Joking me, how much did I pay? Nothing, because I was still with my Vodafone yeah, contract. So for free for you. Damn it. Right, we need to think about this. Right, let's go to the next one then. That's not good news though. We're gonna try this one, and then after, this one. Here we go. Do you have phones here? Yes. You do, okay. Do you know how much it would be for iPhone 5S? Uh, which company? O2. 
from UK. Okay. Okay, so that shop to the right of me, they were charging 95 and the cheapest phone they had is 150 So Justina's just behind me, somewhere there. $80 one week. That's the cheapest. So that is the cheapest. So what's that then? 50 pounds? It takes one week. What should um, yeah. What's the cheapest phone that you have here? That is a locked. $90. $90. Samsung. So it's still the cheapest son. So it's still better to unlock my own phone. Yeah. For okay. nine for eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. So they're the same. Let's think about it. The last one was the cheapest one. And they offered me to unlock my phone for eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. Or the cheapest one is ninety dollars. So cheapest phone is ninety dollars. Yes, cheapest phone is ninety dollars. So it's cheaper to unlock my phone, but we might have to go online and see if we can buy any cheapy cheapy phones on there or something. We'll see. Yeah, I think Amazon or eBay will have some eBay, cheap. eBay, yeah. But we're talking like a really crap phone, like a brick. We're talking Nokia 3310. No, not that we one. Are, we're I'm not. She is, but I'm not. <laughs> like, you don't get those. I'm talking phones. about like cute little Samsung S3 or like even flip screens, you know, it's something very simple but, like, with what, no What do people absence. that are doing like dodgy stuff, what do they do? Like gangsters, you know, like you see them on films and they buy these shit phones and then they throw them in the bin, like yeah. ones. Yeah, I guess that's just from movies now. So that's just, that's just Hollywood, okay, it doesn't exist. Where are we going now then, Justina? I don't know, I, I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. Oh, I know where we're going. Where? We're going to the Latin Quarter. Oh, okay, Arriba. maybe we can have Aruba there or something. Did Latin people say Aruba or was I just incredibly racist? Maybe I we can have some burritos there. I hope so. We're starving. Don't know what's there, but we'll see you there anyway. And guys, I apologize for the way I look today. I've kind of got a horn <laughs> here. Can you see that? I need my hair cut. Look at the state of me. It's not a good day for looking good. I'll cut your hair today, don't worry. <laughs> This is one week of being unemployed. This is how I look. We were just going to Latin Quarter and we saw this. <laughs> and then we saw that it's free. Holla, let's go. <laughs> it starts off nice, nice Bollywood style. And then what is going on here? How cool is that? Got Day of the Dead and then I think it's kind of I don't know what's happening at the end here. Interesting. Katy Perry and E.T. What's this? So <laughs> <laughs> Justina was in that Barbie box for in about 30 seconds. <laughs> That's how long it took. It felt quite like claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. <laughs> so many Barbies. Look at this. Do you see um, the woman? At, oh, Tyra Banks. That's Tyra, the Tyra Banks of yeah. Barbies. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this one. That's a cool one. Harley Davidson. This looks like Justina. <laughs> that pose. So these Barbies are like Hollywood themed. This is Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. This is King Kong. This is a really cool one. Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Look at this one. Flashdance, Jennifer Beals. <laughs> Goldie Horn. How random is that? This is Mary Poppins. <laughs> and a very, very sexy little red riding hood. And the pervy wolf. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone can guess what this is because it's actually probably a bad interpretation, but this is meant to be Twilight. Is that like Lady Gaga? I have no idea who that is. Oh, it doesn't look like her. I spot Beyonce. That doesn't look like her at all. Jennifer Lopez. It's more like Beyonce, and that's meant to be Jennifer Lopez. No, they, they messed it up. They messed up B. I'm just about to investigate JLo's ass on this Barbie. Nah, that's not JLo. Nah, no ass. Now we're into countries. Can you see Lithuania? 
Canada. Lithuania's not here. What about UK? Oh, look, Canada. Can oh, oh look hello. Oh, Canada. Oh, there she is. United Kingdom. Yeah, because we all dress like that. <laughs> Big Ben. Big Ben. Yeah, I have definitely got a Big Ben dress. Definitely. Prince William looks like he hasn't got a neck. <laughs> behind the scenes of the catwalk. Wow. Well then, very naughty. That's me trying to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Come on, come on. Is it What's a pair? Is it a pair? It's a pair, yeah. It's a pair, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. It says Steve Jobs. Estimated more. Wow, Steve Jobs. So cool. <laughs> there was a police officer there in pink trousers. Um, they're actually on protest because obviously as a cop you can't actually physically not come to work. So mm -hmm. their way of saying it is by wearing these really crazy trousers. Um, so it's really cool actually. Uh -huh. It makes them stand out. You do recognise them. Yeah. yeah. But they seem to be so friendly. Like yeah. we passed about three or four police officers and they were all like this. <laughs> like, you know, they're like acknowledging you, like uh -huh. so nice and friendly and smiley. They are nice. Like, yeah, so that was really cool. There's hmm. another guy up here as well in pink trousers. Oh, yeah. I will try and film yeah. him. <laughs> Street art. Street art is everywhere. Yeah, yeah it's well cool. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, Little Saint restaurants. Is so cool. Okay guys, so we just arrived to the Laughing Quarter and yeah. it's a really really cool street. It's quite long and there's cool restaurants, cool shops and cool cafes and pubs and bars. So we're just like spotting all these places and like wow wow and loads of like street art which is also amazing. Yeah. yeah. And what's cool is like there's these steps which kind of reminds us of New York a bit, doesn't yeah. it? Like all of these places here have all these steps out and it just creates such a nice feeling. Uh -huh. It's really cool. So we're just gonna find some food now. Okay, so we're eating a burrito. She cut it in half a rose because one of them is way too much for yeah, one person. It is so. big, big. Oh my god. Oh yeah, get in there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's art everywhere. Everywhere. There's one here as well. Just on here, I have to go across the street. Uh huh. That's cool. Back home. Time for a haircut. <laughs> Hairdresser's over there. <laughs> Are you ready, Justina? I'm ready, yeah. Let's roll my <laughs> sleeves. Let's go. Let's go. So it's been a couple of hours since we last time saw you. As you can see, Misha's got shave hair, very nice. I feel better already. You feel better? You I look like better? a different person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All clean and nice. Already um, for those interviews. Thanks yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow she's going to get a call at 9 in the morning. Misha, can you come for a job interview? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've just been chilling. We had dinner. We had... Um, well, actually, we didn't have dinner. We had cherry pie. Yeah, we had cherry, we had cherry, pie. cherry pie. Yeah, we had cherry pie. Um, very, nutri very nutritious. Mm -hmm. And what else? We finally met up with our housemate. Mm -hmm. He's this uh, Cuban guy. Yeah, yeah, he's outside. He's just outside. He's really cool and he loves salsa and like dancing and all that. So maybe we'll go out like next weekend. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, what else? Oh, our week. How was our week in the end? Yeah, I think it was good in the end, wasn't it? It feels long. It's like a lot For happier. high, it feels really long. For me, yeah. it feels very short because I've been at work from like 8 in the morning till 6, like mm. since I left and then mm. since I came back, it felt so quick. Yeah, and um, we moved. We moved. We moved, the yeah. There was Valentine's. So I, much, so I hurt much my happened. leg. I really hurt my <laughs> leg. Uh, and that healed. 
so much happened so basically much happened. during the week yeah. yeah so much happened so because it's sunday we just want to wrap this up mm. and i just want to mention a few things um so if you don't speak french here in montreal it's actually okay for mm -hmm. you to get around that's mm -hmm. what, how we managed to survive throughout this week and yeah. i even managed to find a job and yeah. we we've done our shopping we found a room and it was all okay yeah, yeah we've got around fine like yeah. it's, it's okay people are speaking french but you can hear people speaking speaking english yes um equally i think it's literally half and half yeah so that's really good that's 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 one thing that we mm -hmm. found out from from living been here for a week yeah um, um another thing is i think price prices here are kind of the same as uk i think that food is similar prices wouldn't you say rent similar cheaper. or cheaper rent has been cheaper mm -hmm. to share uh, rent has been cheaper and travel's quite cheap as well isn't it like a weekly tickets 12 pounds all of metro Yes, that's, that's, that's really one good. thing mm. that really stood out for mm. me. Metro, like wherever you go, you pay the same price. Mm. So for example, now I've been getting a weekly pass for mm. Metro and buses mm. and it's like £16 for a whole week and that's unlimited travel for you to use Metro or a bus. A bus yeah. uh, whereas in UK I used to pay £40.95, so like 15 quid, uh, and that was just for buses. So yeah. that's really good then. It is good. Uh, considering how big the city is yeah it doesn't matter how far you go it's the same yeah it's the same price great. so we also booked our flights to palm springs yesterday oh so uh yeah we haven't explained it um but we're actually in montreal for about six more weeks now so um at the moment we're just trying to like earn enough money to survive so earn enough money to pay rent earn enough money to like put food in our mouths, nothing too extravagant. Mm -hmm, so we're kind of mm -hmm. keeping up like a down low, but still having like loads of time to explore the city and stuff. So uh, yeah, in six weeks, we're going to Palm Springs and we're going to uh, Los Angeles. We're going to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. There's going to be lots happening. Mm -hmm. um, so if anyone's wondering what the hell are we doing? Mm -hmm. Like what are we doing? Get in a room and all of this. Um, this is just a temporary measure. It's a temporary measure because mm -hmm. uh, we need to have some money to keep us going. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to that. So yeah, Montreal this week has been amazing. Um, I think this weekend has been really, really good, hasn't it? To see yeah. the festival and to walk around these cool streets. Like, it's really surprising. And finally, really slowly get the taste of the Montreal. Yeah. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Like and share with your friends. And as always, cheers, cheers to freedom! freedom. Woo!